in the thematic category morality, that discursive formation brings statements about the morality of the characters with a certain degree of corpulence. 27 passages were found in which it was considered that there was a thematization regarding the ethics and morals of the burly ones. All thematizations were indirect, associations not explicit to the characters' bodies. In almost all cases, the burly, fat, or a paunchy committed immoral acts, such as thefts, threats and other attitudes of dubious ethics. Generally, in silent cinema films, a burly actor was cast as the villain and, consequently, committed villains. There was a historical trend for an increase in the number of these themes in the analyzed period. To illustrate this category, five films were selected. In this first one, entitled The Good Shepherdess and the Evil Princess, from 1908, by Georges Beelies, there is, in the role of Bad Princess, a relatively chubby actress. As the title suggests, with a very moralistic nature, she acts immorally, she attacks her subjects free of charge. In the second excerpt, from the 1917 film O, Doctor. By Roscoe Arbuckle, the fat man acts as the protagonist in the role of Doctor. As he drives to his office in his car, he spots a group of men advertising a miraculous soap, which promises to end illness. Seeing and calculating that it would hurt the demand for his medical services, the Doctor is not ashamed to throw his car over men to run over them. In Buster Keaton's The Haunted House, in 1921, the burly man plays the part of a rogue, who creates a mechanisms that simulate that the house is haunted. In Eisenstein's 1925 strike, the pot-bellied factory director has no qualms about plodding behind the scenes to stifle the workers' strike after the death of a worker while on the job.
Finally, in the Stone Age, 1928, the fat man does not mind flirting with the skinny girl and, later, called for a kind of duel. He also shows no concern for the ethics of the dispute, cheating to win.